guys, Atane here and welcome back to another Full Metal Alchemist reaction episode. Now before I start this episode, I would just like to thank everyone and apologize at the same time because I know I my uploads have been erratic for more than two months now and um, it's just it's just quite unfortunate because I have a lot of things like family matters and work stuff that I had to postpone you know the channel for so long probably three months now I think and um, because the episodes that I've been uploading f uh, in this time has been like you know my recordings from three months back so like basically I haven't touched anything for more than two months so it's, it's just yeah, like, um, it's it's really unfortunate and I am just happy that you guys are still sticking around and it's just, it, it's crazy, so many things happened and I am just grateful that you guys are so loyal, especially um, for the people in Patreon, like my patrons, they are so good. Like, I don't know what I've done to deserve this. <laughs> um, but you guys are awesome. Like, thank you so much for supporting me and for being there. Uh, bear with me. I know that I might say something weird or stupid because I haven't touched any anime for how many months now and I may have forget like scenes or like characters so just be patient with me but I hope that um I get to do this show justice because I love the show so much so I think I know some of the characters I still remember the main ones and um where we are at the moment now episode 58 I remember 57 was a lot like a lot happened that episode like all my fears about the scope of father's plan and the danger it posted to all the main characters have come true in one episode. And that is just, yeah, that is, that's scary. <laughs> like these people cannot and for sure will not escape this confrontation unscathed. Like people will die, you know, like I, I am already preparing myself for the worst. Um, like grandpa died, the best grandpa in the show. Like I did not expect that. I kind of expected it, but did not expect that at the same time. Um, the doctor finished his circle. Not a good thing. <laughs> um, he sacrificed the three uh, protagonists and transported them to what I believe is the gate. Now there is no other place you go after you use a transportation circle, so it has to. You know, they have to go to the gate. Um, I called it last week and I'm calling it again. For some reason, I have this feeling that there is no happy ending to this show. Like, we have a few episodes left and things are not getting brighter for all of us. And, you know, someone will have to be sacrificed in expense for the happiness of everyone. And I'm just piecing things together, especially watching that intro song. It's just very gloomy. Um, it could be Mustang, it could be Al. I don't know who's going to be the sacrifice, but I am leaning towards Al a little bit more because he is a type of person that is very selfless and I'm sure he won't bat an eye in sacrificing himself in a heartbeat. So, anyway, one of those major characters anyway, but I'm lean leaning more towards Al, so. This is not good. Um, I'll prepare myself for this next episode, so deep breaths and let's go so before we start this video please support my channel by giving this video a like don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get the latest videos okay, here we go I wonder if he used alchemy to make like that gold teeth or tooth. Yeah, like I said, there he are. Uh oh. Don't tell me he's gonna lose another limb or 
like at the end of the show I am expecting he's gonna lose the whole thing and just ahead is going to be what's left of him that's gonna be so sad oh Ji-chan Revenge, Lan Fan, revenge. Um, this is Ling and Greed, right? Ling or Ying. Ah, cut your hand. I swear. Cut your hand. Oh, well, he can't because his other hand is busy. <laughs> oh, shoot! Uh, who this? Oh, no! Oh, <gasps> ow! Oh, yeah, like... That hand is still not fully healed. I'm sure if she lets go, like, I'm sure that the two of them are going to survive. So, she can let go, I suppose. Oh no! Oh shit! Hit it! Bye. See, it's just water. He's going to survive. Oh, Jichan. Is he really dead, dead? Oh, shit. I completely forgot how sad this show is. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling sad now. Oh, shit. Who's that? Oh, come on. Oh, these guys. I know it's not their fault, but, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot he's immortal. <laughs> Buccaneer is alive! <laughs> Tight. I can't help but laugh at that word. Thai in my language is shit. Like, literally, it means shit. So <laughs> They've been calling him shit this whole time. Oh, he's running out. Okay, we're done. We are done, so. The loyalty. She's so lucky to have these guys with her. <sighs> yes, let me borrow it. Yeesh! Let's go! 
This is very like Naruto and Kurama relationship. It's very, very cool. You better not die. Let's go. One man. Oh, badass. Ah, it's so cool. It's gonna go crazy on these people. Love that. <laughs> Gree just casually goes in, like, yeah. I'm taking over. No women. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh. I like Creed from the beginning, even though he was a bad guy. And I still like him now. Yar. <clears throat> He warned you. Uh oh. He means it when he said no entry. <laughs> Let's go. He could have done this from the beginning. Although he was pretty busy with Bradley, so he couldn't. So. Okay. Understandable. Mmm, them back muscles. Nope. Oh! <laughs> if bullets don't work, run them over. It is so strong. Oh well, he's a mixture. Oh, look at that! So friggin' cool. So true. Oh, Buccaneer, you better not die. Come on, Captain, stay with us. <clears throat> Shut up. Please. Oh no, please! Buccaneer, I swear. No, not this angelic music. No, don't go to, don't go to the light. Oh, please, no. died a soldier oh shit so many deaths in the show <gasps> no is this his parents please no Oh no, your wifey. Impossible. No, impossible, impossible. I 
Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. Thank you. <laughs> my gosh, Olivia is such a leader. I know she's crying inside, but she has no time to cry. And be looking like a weakling in front of her soldiers. Because otherwise, once they see your weakness... Oh, yeah. That animation. Amazing. Izumi. This place looks like father's house. <laughs> this is weird. I thought we we're meant to go to the gate. Oh, Al. But he's not in there. Oh, shoot. Is he upside down? Wait, what? Oh! I'm confused. Where am I supposed to look? <laughs> oh, I thought it was father. Completely forgot about the dad. <laughs> That's nasty. Welcome to my castle. Please, everyone, make yourselves at home. Now it's your turn to get up. Things aren't looking too good for us. I think he's not with us. Now, get up. Now, fine. He's probably stuck in the gates of truth. Truth of gate? Gate of truth? <laughs> I don't know. Suck. Such great timing. Ah! Uh oh. Are we gonna see an undead Hughes? Because I don't want to see him that way. No. Oh, shoot. Well, I didn't see that coming. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, is she dead? Oh my gosh, so many deaths in one...
I hope he dies a painful death. Oh my gosh. Shit. She's bleeding to death though. I have no plan. I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing. Oh, my gosh. This is terrible. What the hell do we do? So I thought Buccaneer's effort two episodes back was enough, but no, the writer has to kill him off. Thank you so much for making me watch that. Um, but in the end, he used the last bit of his strength to protect Olivia and his men, and he fulfilled his duty. He died Buccaneer style, and you know I'm satisfied with that Briggs man style. For sure, um, it's hard to distinguish between uh, the line between Ling and Greed. Like they are so in tune with one another, and it's impossible to tell which action belongs to who. And I find that so interesting, especially when they just have this amazing coexistence going on, and you know they know when that person is going to pop out and just you know uh, take the lead, and when he comes back in is that how <laughs> I don't know but anyway uh, greed is letting Ling take over and by using greed's power and th that is just beautiful and I think greed has come so far and I just appreciate his addition to the team um, I'm sorry but how in the world is father's lair on the other side of the gate like you know did I miss something like is there anything I missed because I know that place and it looks like his house and why it, like he's supposed to like they're supposed to be transported to the gates but that didn't happen so I don't know <laughs> like you know how do you even like prepare a sacrifice in this case because they mentioned the last sacrifice like who is this last sacrifice you know they had to have a uh, pass through the gate and the father already has all five of them in one room so I don't I don't know what to do like Al is not waking up Dr. Goldtooth is forcing Mustang to become a sacrifice and he is going to force him to bring Hughes back to life like what he said and everyone knows this is impossible only suffering awaits for Hughes and Mustang and Riza so this is great this episode is the worst of them all for sure and this is not yeah this is not going well for us there's no episode recently that you know that we have like hope and, or anything but i don't know what to do like i don't know what to expect so yeah that's it for today i'm gonna take a break <laughs> because this is too much so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction episode and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on next week on the next episode of Full Metal Alchemist. Bye.